Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'd like to share our experience in buying our first car in Australia. We decided to buy a car because we will work in a different hospital on the coast that is 40 minutes by drive from where we live. We visited a few known dealers such as Oscar and Central Coast Motor Group to find the best car for each of us. If you have a clear idea of what kind of car you want, the sales agents are really helpful to find the best fit and give you the best deal. Each of us wanted a medium-sized SUV with at least 2.0 liters of engine that is relatively new. The usual mileage of used cars here in Australia range from 70k to 100k because the places here are usually far from each other. This is the car I had in mind. I was eyeing a Mazda because of its good quality and luxury feel. I wanted a white one as well. Luckily, this Mazda CX-3 is available in Central Coast Motor Group and is within my price range. This is the car Joshua was looking into. He ended up buying this car which is a Hyundai Tucson. It's got 17,000 kilometers on it. It's a really low kilometer car. It's got new car warranty still. It's a lot of value. This car was also one of my top choices. However, I'm not a fan of the color. I also wanted the white one like Mary. This is the Mitsubishi ASX. I also wanted a car with a higher base clearance, so I bought this Mazda CX-5. Oh, those speakers. Yeah, it's full bus audio system. They come with a lot. Like Mazda knows where to put the value in the car. They're a really, really packed car. The features are lovely. Really nice to drive. And quite Hi guys, so we're back at the Central Coast Motor Group and we're here to test drive our cars. We placed our initial deposit on our next visit and did a test drive of our cars. By the way, the driver's license that we are using here in Australia is our license from the Philippines, which we can use only until March of 2025. By then, we would need to sit the driving test and get our NSW license. Hey! hey. Test drive! <laughs> this is what my car looks like. I like that it's a small SUV and my favorite thing about it is that it tells you when you're over the speed limit and it also alerts you when there's a nearby car on your sides. Hi guys, so Hi. we're going to get our cars now or their cars. Yeah, we're going to Central Coast Motor Group to get our cars. Finally, this is my car. We're gonna do some paperwork for now and then we're gonna bring home our cars today. Hello. By the way, this is Jack, our financial advisor. He really helped us a lot in getting the best financing plan for our cars. Some dealers don't allow financing if your visa is only one year. Luckily, Central Coast Motor Group organized everything for us and the whole process of buying our cars was smooth sailing. We also paid an additional fee for the warranty and insurance for one year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, any questions about the car? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so good. Fantastic. It's your turn now, too. Now this is us driving our cars back home. We were really careful because we're still not used to driving on a right-sided driver's seat. Luckily, Central Coast Motor Group is very close to where we live. 
In our place, we only have one parking spot and so we take turns every week. This is the front of our building so we can park our other cars there. So there's no fine for that. There's Bandong with his new car. These are the features that I love about my car. First is the automatic tailgate which is really helpful when you are carrying groceries. Second is the good quality surround sound because of the built-in Bose speakers. Third is the heads-up display which lets me know my current speed and alerts me if there are any cars in my blind spot. Fourth is the Apple CarPlay. Lastly, the comfortable leather seats with built-in heaters and the sunroof. We also tried this automatic car wash near our house which cost $30. Washing the car is honestly relaxing. It lasts for about 7 minutes. Going rainbow. Apa sih rainbow? You can also pay for the manual car wash which costs about $15 for around 10 minutes. You can also choose to vacuum your car for around $2 which lasts around 5 minutes. It was also our first time to manually pump our own gas since in the Philippines, there is usually someone who does that for you. Pump mo lang until ayaw mo na. I take up you. <laughs> Hanggang okay na yung price na babayaran mo. Pag afford din na. 20 lang, 20 lang. Ayan, takpak mo pa. Na, high na. Ito na yun, no? Okay na. After filling your car with gas, you need to go to the cashier to pay. Some gas stations offer discounts when you use their app or rewards card. We also bought accessories for our cars online and in super cheap auto and auto barns such as leather seat covers, boot covers, as well as car mats.
Now this is me pumping gas into my car for the first time. On this day, we will also be practicing driving to our hospital. Our hospital is around 35 kilometers away and would take about 40 minutes to drive. In Australia, there are many roundabouts and it can get quite confusing for us. In general, you must give way to cars already in a roundabout and those coming from your right. Hi guys, we have successfully driven to our hospital. We did a test drive today. It's a Saturday. It was hard driving in Australia the first time since we were used to driving to the right side of the road. We eventually got used to it by driving repeatedly in short distances every day. It is actually more enjoyable to drive here since the roads are smoother, traffic is lighter, and you get to see different sceneries. The drivers here are also more polite and obedient to the traffic rules. Sometimes we do carpool to the hospital to save petrol, but most of the time we travel separately because sometimes our schedules are different and we finish at different times depending on how busy the day is. Whenever we do overtime and finish late, um, the roads get really dark and so we do our best to be really careful. That's it guys. If you have any tips about driving in Australia, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in our next vlog. Bye!